Hello and welcome or welcome back. Um, we are doing some awesome things. Um, it's been one hectic week and right now we just did some, we're just, we're working on our front lawn and I'm gonna um, post that video sometime soon. Um, I'm still making it currently because we are doing a lot of front yard work. So I might um, break that up into a couple of videos, but in this video, we're, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting and uh, you'll see what I'm waiting for in a little bit. But in the meantime, I cleared a space in my office and I moved my embroidery machine over here in between my uh, rising desk and my regular desk. Something's coming and I'm excited, freaking out, but excited. <laughs> um, the lighting's not very good in here, but um, I just want Make sure that this area is nice and clean, which it is. And um, we'll uh, scoot. We'll um, go to some footage of it arriving. So I'm just, I'm just patiently waiting. Oh, I think they're here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm loading the machine now. And he just brought in. A Hi, baby. <laughs> he just brought in a box of accessories. That gave it away. <laughs> awesome. So I'm just waiting for him to unload the rest of the machine out of the van. And um, he's going to set it up for me. And train me on it. So um, once he has that set up and everything, then I can give you the grand tour. But yeah, anyway. So I'm going to focus on training right now and uh, learn how to put this thing together and then hopefully i can t i can show you guys so i'm just really excited um here he comes he's coming so i'll clip to uh after the machine setup okay i can't help myself i have to show you guys what i got and it's in its box and <laughs> he's gonna set it up for me and i'm so excited crazy i do mostly hand embroidery actually oh, really? yeah so now you'll be able to show off Automatic okay. Exactly. See you later. Make more stuff. <laughs> See you later. Uh, they found a new toy. It's almost like they're cats. It really is. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's so big compared to mine. <laughs> wow. That is huge. And I've got a good reference point. You can come in and you can pull the thread off, otherwise you can wait and we can cut that off after the design is done. But, back to our speed setting, we have individual needle speeds. So, oh, let, yeah. so let's say on needle number 12 we're doing a metallic, we can set only needle number 12 to run at a slower speed than the rest of the machine. On top of that, right here we have our next feature. So while this is important, I can do another layout, I can do more lettering. Oh, another, another one. one. It's later in the day and I finally got the kids to sleep because they were a crazy crazy today oh my gosh but I am wearing um, the hat that I made earlier <laughs> I made this <laughs> um, I'll turn the camera around and uh, show you what I got cannot believe this is in my house it's a 12 needle Happy Japan embroidery machine. And I've been looking at this for a long time. Um, I chose this machine because it's a Japanese model. The entire, um, the this case is plastic, but everything inside the plastic is metal. All the, all the compartments inside are metal and the motor is a lot bigger and it has a bunch of other things that are just so much better than um, some of the other machines that I was looking at. 
So I got the Mighty Hoop Bundle. So it came with this awesome shirt placing for left and right chest logos. And where's my other one? Okay, and it also came with this, this cool little table. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> he set it all up for me. He was so nice to set everything up for me. This is the Freestyle Station. And I can use this for beanies and kids shirts and smaller projects, which is great. Um, my Mighty Hoop is somewhere around here. Here's the cap system that comes with. And I just have it set up right here for now. And it came with two caps, um, two cap, um, cap frames. And then um, a bunch of, came with two of each of these hoops. I gotta learn the sizes. They're all in millimeters because this is a Japanese machine and they don't do, they're, they're in the metric system, so they don't do inches. And then this is for these hoops. And then my Mighty Hoop is over here. So the starter kit comes with a 4x4 four four Mighty Hoop. And I cannot wait to use this. <laughs> so exciting. Came with a bunch of bobbins and tools. And I got to learn how to thread it. So I threaded about half of these. So like these, I did the first, or no, I did the... Yeah, I did this one. So one, two, three, four. I did the first four and he did the rest of them. But yeah, I learned how to hoop it and um, I learned how to take off the cap frame and put on the flat one, which I don't remember the name of it, but I can take those on and off. And um, oh my gosh, there's just so many things I can do with this machine. It's amazing. I'm I'm loving the color of the table. So the table came with it. Um, most machines like this don't have the table included, but Happy Japan has included a table, which is amazing. Um, so it's included with the machine, and um, I thought that was a really great deal. So here's all the colors it came with. Some of these colors I may use, some I might switch out. Like, I don't know if I'll ever use this color or this color or this color or this one. I'm, I'm just gonna leave them on for now and switch them out with my old colors. But yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's just a lot to take in and I will be practicing a lot with it. But that's what I got today, and I'm really excited to play with so it. I have a lot to learn, um, a lot of learning curve, especially for hats. That's the one thing I really need to practice, is making hats. Um, this hat in particular was a little tricky because um, of the flimsy nature of the hat. Um, so I think this is called a soft brim or something. So it doesn't have that stiffness in it but it was fun to practice on it <laughs> so I'll have to practice more and I know that I have some people I have a couple people already interested in um, hats so oh I'm just overwhelmed today I thought about playing with it a little bit today but I am exhausted um, earlier today we had grass hydro seed sprayed so I've had to go outside and water every four to five hours and like keep a lookout for the weather because we were supposed to have like thunderstorms today but I feel like that the thunderstorms kind of came and went like they didn't really stick around so I had to gauge how much water to do and then um I had training on this machine today and um <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't realize, the, the time went by so fast. He got here at around quarter to one and didn't leave here until 4.30. Yep. So we thoroughly went through everything. He set it up and he trained me on it. And oh, it's just, my brain's just like, lots of stuff going on. 
So look forward to lots of videos involving my happy Japan. <laughs> really, really excited. Um, if you have any questions about this machine, let me know. I am still learning. So, um, yeah. So shoot me a, a question in the comment section if you have one. And I feel like I just leveled up, like, <laughs> a lot. I mean, this is a big step. Um, and if you compare it to my brother, it's a big step. I mean, my brother is so tiny compared to it. My little brother. Who's sleeping right now? I mean, big difference. Huge difference. Oh my gosh. So, honestly, didn't realize how why or how like deep it is you know it, it like goes past my desk here so here's my desk it stops here this actually goes farther out and i was thinking about putting it on the other wall but i'm glad i decided not to do that because i would not have enough room to sit at my desk so i'm glad i put it here and luckily the machine's not that heavy um so if i needed to move it i could probably not me by myself but if my husband were with me to help that that would be good so it's not like super duper heavy but yeah it's been a day it's been a day I'm tired but I'm so excited I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight because <laughs> there's so many things I want to like test out on I've got some um I've got some old t-shirts that I bought like over a year ago that I want to test designs out. I don't have a lot of fabric for applique, but I do want to make more designs and I do want to um, work with more like like types of projects. Um, anyway, my brain's just like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for sticking around to the end. I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. It's a lot, you know? Big step, big step. Has anybody recently leveled up their embroidery game? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your story. I would love to know what machine you have. Um, I know that uh, Recoma is popular. And uh, what's the other one? Uh, it's another Chinese machine. I can't remember. But anyway, let me know what you have. If you have any multi-needles, I would love to know what you have. And I'll s I guess I'll see you in my next video. Um, um, check out my next video here, and I'll see you then. <laughs>